Hi everyone, welcome back to the Sea Morning Show. Now today is Monday and some say that you could have been a, it could have been a great time to start the week with refreshed energy and sort of the reset button in the week, right? But in reality, many are actually struggling with anxieties over starting another week. A feeling that is dubbed as the Monday Blues. Do you get Monday Blues, Rasha? Well, to be honest, not anymore, Paul, because okay. this is such a fun environment to work in. But right? you understand the Monday Blues because you used to work in an office. I used to work in an office and usually after the weekend off, I get that Monday boost feeling. Okay. You know, we don't Monday. like we we know what it feels like. But we don't really understand the reasons behind it. Why do we struggle with Monday mornings? And what can we do to make Monday mornings just a little bit better? And joining us this morning to answer some of these questions from a psychologist's perspective is a friend of the program, clinical psychologist Mutiara Maharini. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Hi. Good to have you on Hi. as always. Hi. So, what is Monday blues syndrome? Is it actually a thing? Okay, so <laughs> Monday Blue Syndrome isn't actually a medical term. Okay. Mm -hmm. It is something, it's like popular psychology. It's right. what you say, you know, it's what you put on your status. Oh, I'm having Monday Blues, yes. right? Mm -hmm. But what Monday Blues actually means is that you have a set of negative symptoms at the beginning of a work week. Mm. So, you know, sometimes there's like hari kejepit or stuff like that, okay. you know. So it might be a Tuesday where you're feeling the Monday Blues. Right. Mm. Because it's basically what you feel at the start of a beginning of a week. And the effect of Monday Blues is, this is really interesting because there's a research done to all of these employees at the start of the week and at the end of the week. Mm. And these were the employees that were doing the same kind of jobs, you know, at the same kind of time with the same kind of co-workers. But at the start of the week, they felt a lower level of job satisfaction and a higher level of job stress. Hmm. But they were actually doing the, same, the same thing, thing then at the end of the week. So that is the effect of Monday Blues Syndrome to yourself, actually. What are some of these uh, symptoms? Or is, uh, that, uh -huh. like, what are some of these effects? Yeah, so the first thing is that you might be feeling sad that the weekend has ended. <laughs> and maybe a little bit angry that you didn't really do everything that you wanted to do on the weekend. And then there might be a hint of anxiety. Like, will I really be able to do all of the things I said I was going to do this week or even this Monday. So that is something that we feel psychologically, right? Mm -hmm. But physically, we might be feeling kind of, um, sometimes you have headaches mm -hmm. and then sometimes we have trouble sleeping. And that are some things that kind of indicate that, you know, maybe there's a little problem here. Mm -hmm. Like sleeping on the up. Sunday, right? Anticipating like, yes. oh, tomorrow's Monday. Like, right. oh, tomorrow I have to wake up in the morning, but you still find it hard to sleep. Yes. I guess there's this uneasy feeling mm -hmm. looking forward to Monday, right? Yes. So let's break it down a little bit because you mentioned a mm -hmm. lot of different things that is a symptom to Monday blues. Uh, what are the anatomy sort of like the variable that we can manage mm -hmm so that we can make sure that we're feeling a bit okay on Monday. Yeah, I think uh, the most practical thing to do once you're feeling this kind of anxiety and then you might be feeling sad or whatnot, what you do, the first thing is write it down. Mm. I know you guys have heard this recommendation a million times, but putting uh, what you're feeling into words, putting this abstract heavy feeling into concrete words actually takes so much power out of those feelings. Mm -hmm. So once you write it down, okay, I'm feeling re really worried because I don't know if I'm going to, you know, be able to do the project tomorrow mm -hmm. or I really don't feel like meeting X, Y, and Z, you know, stuff like that. It kind of lowers the intensity of what you're going to feel. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing. And then the second thing, because you guys have all felt Monday blues before, it's really nice to talk to someone about it mm -hmm. so that you don't feel like I'm the only one who isn't productive, who hates Mondays, but you're kind of like, okay, we're in this together, we don't like it, but somehow we're going to manage through it and then it'll suddenly be Friday again, you okay. know? That's really, really helpful. And then the third thing is to plan something fun on a Monday. Mm -hmm. Okay. so that you have something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. For me, it's usually, okay, I'm going to do a really fun gym class today. Okay. So I'm like, okay, no matter how bad today is, yeah. it's going to end on a really good note. Yeah. That's the first thing. But it doesn't have to be like that. It can be like, I'll call my friend at a lunch break mm -hmm. and see what's going on we'll with her. Go for lunch together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. go so for lunch together. So you can have something positive and enjoyable to look mm -hmm. up to, right? Mm -hmm. And the last thing is something we like to overlook, but 
When we're feeling bad about ourselves, we're having a low mood about the whole Monday situation, what we can do is do something nice for someone else. Mm. Buy a coffee for mm. your coworker, mm. or you know, maybe compliment them. Mm -hmm. And then suddenly you feel better about yourself actually, and that will help you face your Monday and feel more confident about yourself. And there's a, what I observe is that mm -hmm. a lot of people that are experiencing Monday blues are actually people who work in a more corporate type of jobs, yeah. right? As opposed to in the creative fields or or sort of entertainment fields, I would say. And um, and those people who are working in corporate jobs are used to all this like planning or getting ahead of things, right? So are there little things that we can plan ahead or get ahead during the weekend so that it doesn't look so bad or feel so bad on Monday? Yes, yes. Okay, I think this is definitely for the people who work, you know, a nine to five kind of job. Mm -hmm. What we tend to do is on Friday, we're not that productive anymore. Mm -hmm. So we put everything we need to do on Monday. Mm -hmm. okay. And that is just a recipe for a disaster. Mm -hmm. Because on Sunday, you're thinking about, oh my God, how will I ever finish all of my to-do lists on Monday? Mm -hmm. So what you need to do is be aware of that and think that, okay, I'm not going to be feeling exactly, you know, very productive as well on Monday. So I need to be realistic about the goals I'm going to set on Monday. And maybe I can put it, okay, a little bit on Monday, a little bit on Tuesday, kind of spread it out and not try to finish everything on Monday. That's the first thing. And the second thing, again, is about making a nice, fun thing to do. Mm. It's really important to plan that. And I feel like, people who have morning routines, mm -hmm. especially on a Monday, that helps them so much. People who go to the gym first, or people who... Oh, like before work? Before yeah, work, yeah. or people who especially go and have a nice coffee that yes. they really enjoy, you know, yeah. like really yes. mindfully, that yeah. will help them face their Monday blues. Okay. By the way, if you want to feel better about your Monday, I uh, take my coffee black. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I want to talk a little bit about um, uh, something I mentioned to Russia before mm -hmm. we got into the discussion is, um, I used to have I used to be mindful about my eating and leave mm -hmm. my weekends for cheat days. Oh, yes. But then I would have this overwhelming feeling. And I didn't, at this, this is a point where I didn't work in a corporate environment. I still had Monday blues mm -hmm. because I think now that I'm looking back at it, because I don't do this anymore, was probably I felt guilty for the stuff I did on the weekends. Mm -hmm. So what can we do about that? Because we do like to have a little bit more fun on the weekends, yeah. right? People yeah. do, for example, if I want to uh, do clean eating, Sometimes people leave their Sundays for cheat days, but then uh, that's going to make them feel worse on Monday. Is there any way around that? Mm -hmm. Or can dietary or nutritional habits affect your Monday? Mm -hmm. That is definitely a big thing that I think it happens to all of us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because Without realizing, right? once we go home on Friday, we're like, okay, I'm going to let loose. Party time. And then <laughs> party time, right? TGIF. Yes. And then you start eating all of these really rich foods, Correct. maybe even have some drinks. And then your sleeping patterns are just like all over the place. So suddenly you're sleeping at 2 a.m., waking up at 10, when usually maybe you sleep at 10 and wake up at 6. Mm -hmm. And that really confuses our body because our body doesn't understand, okay, today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. It doesn't understand that you know, we're going to have changes like that. So once we already created the habit of clean eating for five days, and then the other two days, we just messed it all up. Right. Our body is very overwhelmed, and we tend to feel, you know, maybe we can feel bloated and whatnot. But what we can do is to kind of have, uh, find a mid middle ground. Okay. We know that it's okay to be more relaxed, to eat, you know, food that tastes better <laughs> and maybe have a few drinks, sleep a little bit later, but not to an extreme. Don't go overboard. Don't go overboard. overboard. And what's most important is actually when you're doing the clean eating part, don't be too extreme as well. Right, mm -hmm. gotcha. So there's Find not moderation. Such a yeah. 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 Because we as humans we, we're not perfect. We yeah. can't go like from this extreme to this extreme. Like our bodies need adjustment as well. Yeah. yeah take note there, uh, Mr. Producer. <laughs> <laughs> Got uh, kind of that lifestyle yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you mentioned earlier in the beginning of our conversation that this is actually not a medical term. Yes. This is just some sort of a popular mm -hmm. culture that people use to write on their social media, yes. right? But how do we know what's the threshold between this is just something that's related to our mood or it could indicate something more serious than that such as we don't actually are, uh, like our jobs or we don't actually have a lot of support systems yes. in our surroundings. Yes. 
That's uh, why the first thing I said was to write down what you're feeling because most times we kind of just go through the motions and then we're going like in a spiral down and down and then we don't realize that suddenly we're in a really bad place. Mm -hmm. So if we're already feeling some kind of negative symptoms, it's really good to be aware of what you're feeling, especially your emotions. And then after you write your emotions down, you kind of ask yourself, what is causing this? Mm -hmm. Because once you know the specific cause, you can actually know the specific solution, mm -hmm. right? And sometimes we don't realize, maybe we think, oh, it's just Monday blues. Mm -hmm. But then again, maybe it's your job. Maybe mm -hmm. it's not really a fit for you. Right. Mm -hmm. But maybe it's also your relationships. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, you know, as humans, we're very complex. We have a lot of things happening in, in our life. So we really need to be aware and we need to put our own intention in getting to know ourselves mm -hmm. so that we can identify what problems are happening. Mm -hmm. And the threshold between knowing when we need to maybe seek professional help is that when you realize this low mood on Monday blues isn't only happening when it's Monday. It's starting to become Wednesday blues. <laughs> yeah. It's <laughs> becoming seasonal blues. <laughs> because uh, the term Monday blues, it's said Monday blues because once Monday ends, you're yeah. fine. Yeah. But if you're feeling it over and over again, and to a level where you feel like you can't be productive, you can't sleep, you can't eat, mm -hmm. that is definitely a time for you to find professional help. But again, if you're just confused, like, okay, I have to identify my problems, but I don't know, like, I'm just too yeah. overwhelmed. Yeah. I would say that just go for professional help too. Directly. Right. No yeah. Heard. problem, yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, like, you've, been, you've had Monday blues. Mm -hmm. Would you say like after lunch, it's mostly gone anyway? It's usually mornings, right? So like it's interesting because I actually had a bigger problem than that. And the yeah. Monday blues was actually the first indications oh. um, that, like yeah, mm -hmm. I didn't like my job. So I actually, so that was the start actually that okay. helps me mm -hmm. to indicate the, the problem and the solution. Okay, yes. so now let's flip it. We are now in the position of the employer, not mm -hmm. the employee. Mm -hmm. What can we do to make a better environment for our employees so they're not all just the uh, drab every Monday morning? <laughs> How can we make things just a little bit better? Because we know our employees are going to come in after the weekend and probably have low energy. What can we do to make things better? Yes. I think as an employer or maybe as like the HR, mm -hmm. if you can, it would be very ideal and nice to have flexible schedule. Mm -hmm. So on Mondays, maybe you can give a little flexibility, you can work from home mm -hmm. or you can come in late, like half you know, day. half day, stuff like that. And you might think that, oh, it's going to make them less productive. Mm -hmm. But when they are in a good mood, I yeah. mean, I know you guys have felt when you're in a good mood, you are way more productive yeah. Very true. than trying to trying to force yourself to do something. Yeah. That's the first thing. Okay. And then the second thing is something very simple, but a lot of companies do this, is on Monday you can wear a more casual kind of dress code. Ah, mm -hmm. So that it's helps. It's kind of like casual Fridays, we're making yeah, casual Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that right. helps transition from the weekend to the weekday more That's smoothly. Yeah. That's really nice. Yeah. And well, you could always be extra, have some kind of mindfulness classes, mm -hmm. yoga classes, but I know that is a very ideal world. Um, <laughs> But the least you can do is to not put like 10 meetings in a row on Monday. Mm -hmm. That yeah. is Don't that is the disaster. Yeah. yeah. And I think that I said if if I was working at a company and the employer just even acknowledged the fact that one day sometimes suck, yeah. it actually makes me feel already better. Yeah, like, at least, at least yeah, yeah. It only puts me, you right? in a better mood, yeah. right? And, mm -hmm. and perhaps like free coffees for everyone on yeah. a Monday. Morning. That's such a great idea. <laughs> Employer here, listen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really good idea. Okay, I think one last question. Are there some sort of morning routine uh, that is simple to do but can instantly put us in a good mood to sort of like fight this Monday blues? Yes, okay. The morning routine starts actually from the night, which yes. is getting enough sleep. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, as perfect as your Monday, as your morning routine is, it will never be perfect if you don't have enough sleep. That's yeah. the number one thing. The second thing is you have to eat enough and uh, please do not drink coffee on an empty stomach, even though I know most people do. <laughs> yes. yeah. And then the next thing to do is to have some time not on your screen. So mm. don't immediately open Instagram, don't mm -hmm. immediately open all of this stuff. It would be very ideal if you could, you know, have a little meditation session or have a journaling session mm -hmm. or even just go, you know, drink your tea while looking at your garden. Mm -hmm. That would be really nice before you then start your day. So again, it's about making the transition smooth. Mm -hmm. Not like, okay, wake up, okay, go, okay, uh, you right. know. Yeah. Right back in the rat race. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay, well, very good, uh, very good person.